Hello everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Kat. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom, and an avid reader. For everyone else, welcome back. It has been a little bit of a crazy stressful week and I have not gotten very much reading done. So with my four day weekend from teaching, I am going to spend 24 hours of that trying to read as much as I possibly can. Um, because I have quite a bit of reading to get done. This weekend is also the Magical All-Nighter. I'm not going to be able to participate during the times everyone else is. It starts at 4 p.m. Eastern, or 4 p.m. Um, Britain time tomorrow. So it's about 11 a.m. our time, but that puts it where it interferes with church for us. So I'm going to start it now about, it's about 8.30. So I'm going to start it now and see how much reading I can get done before 8.30 p.m. tomorrow. That should be a, a decent chunk of time to read. So I'm going to get started with The Last Lost Girl. I am currently about a hundred pages in to this one and the whole premise of this one is that Ava is trying to take care of her sister Belle who is obsessed with Neverland and we all know Neverland's not a real place, right? Well. In this universe, it turns out that Neverland isn't as not real as we all believe. And Ava and Belle find themselves transported to Neverland and dealing with Peter Pan. So, I'm going to get back to it and see where this takes me. I'll check in with you shortly. So, I've been reading for an hour, got about 60 pages read. I am really, I am really enjoying this book. Um, with me yawning the way I am already though, I don't know that I'm going to make it too much longer tonight. Um, but I do want to get some more reading tonight. So I am going to take a moment, go wash my face, brush my teeth, um, put on a face mask, and do a little more reading. Um, but I do want to get up and kind of stretch my legs a little bit. So I will be back shortly with another update. Alright, so it is 10.30. I got page 200. Um... I'm really enjoying the story so far, but I'm hitting the point where even with having had a coffee, I am really getting drowsy. Um, so instead of fighting it, I am going to go on ahead and go to bed. Um, got about a hundred pages read for two hours of reading. I am not put out by that. And I will see you guys in the morning, um, or morning for me, um, and get some more reading of The Last Lost Girl done. Good morning, everyone. So, once again, the cleaning fairies did not come while I slept. Um, so, this morning I'm going to have to take a few minutes to clean the kitchen, um, and just let me know in the comments if you have any um, recommendations for those um, cleaning fairies that come behind you and clean everything up. Alright, so it is 10.30. I got page 200. Um, 
I'm really enjoying the story so far, but I'm hitting the point where even with having had a coffee, I am really getting drowsy. Um, so instead of fighting it, I am going to go on ahead and go to bed. Um, got about a hundred pages read for two hours of reading. I am not put out by that. And I um, will see you guys in the morning. Um, or morning for me. Um, and get some more reading of The Last Lost Girl done. Alright, so I got about another hour and 15-ish minutes read. Um, I keep picking up my phone. I've got to stop doing that when I'm trying to focus on reading. Because uh, it is an easy distraction. But my mother-in-law and daughter <sighs> brought me some breakfast um, from Waffle House. So I'm going to eat that and probably tidy up the dining room a little bit and then get back to reading. Um, I can't. I, I can't always just sit and read like I want to. Um, part of it is my body just needs movement, I know. But part of it is I'm a mom and my brain won't let me just fully sit back, relax, and read. So I'm going to eat some breakfast and tidy up a little bit. And then hopefully by then... It'll be 11 o'clock and time for sprints to start with G on um, book roast. So I will check in soon. Hello, hello. Oh my God, I'm late. Um, I started earlier, set up, and still have... Alright, so in that first sprint, I got 62 pages read. Um, I am really, really, really loving this book. Um, the characters are just amazing. And we're starting to understand some of what's happened. Um, and I'm using the talky bits to fold laundry. So you may see piles of laundry all around me throughout the day. But I'm going to get back reading. We have about 49 minutes left for this sprint. And I'm going to get, hopefully get some progress in this. And I will check in soon. Alright, so we just finished an hour long sprint. Um, and I'm kind of sad for where it ended. Because I have... 12 pages left of the book um so but I am really enjoying it um we do have a whole chapter dedicated to spice and I would say um, it's about a two or three chili pepper um in that one scene but it almost feels like you could skip that chapter if you didn't want the spice. Um, everything else with the book is pretty minor or pretty low key, you know, kissing, um, things that you expect in a romance. Um, but this one gets a little, a little heated there. Uh, but I really, ooh, really enjoying this and I've got uh, about six-ish more hours, five and a half more hours um, of reading to do. So I definitely am going to get one book done and then be able to move on to the next before the end of um, the 24 hours. And then I have to go in and log all my books um, because I haven't been logging books for um, the Aurelium Readathon as far as on her Google form. Um, so, uh, yeah. I'm going to get back to reading, but at, right after this chatty bit in the sprint. Well, I 
would say that my 24 hour reading is going really well. I did finish The Last Lost Girl. I feel like this is going to be a series. Um, it just came out this year. Um, and Bond does a lot of series, so I'm hoping that this one is because it really ends on a cliffhanger. Um, and I am spinning after that. Um, so I am definitely on the right track. I think the next book I'm going to pick up is going to be Sea Witch. Um, and read that one on my Kindle. So, I will check in at the end of this sprint, letting you know how far I got in it. So, in that sprint, I did start Sea Witch by Rebecca F. Kinney. Yeah, F. Kinney. Um, and this is definitely a adult, um retelling <laughs> Avril has a potty mouth um, which is really funny to see and even we have um, her dad you know making certain comments about it along the lines of we're royalty we need to be better than the um, better than the, the common folk. Um, but so far, I mean, this story opens up with Avril saving the prince, um, and then... The Sea Witch's minions bringing her to the Sea Witch. Um, so we definitely jump in and get going. So I'm about like 30 pages in. Not very far. But we have a 50 minute sprint. So I am going to read. And I will check in with you in the next sprint. So, made it through another sprint. Um, I got about 50 pages read. Um, so I'm really excited. And it looks like we have one more sprint left. And then I'm probably going to call it an end for this. Um, currently I'm about 17% into Sea Witch. And things are starting to get getting rolling so we're gonna see where this takes us in the next right <gasps> all right everyone i've kind of relocated to bed um i am officially at the 24 hours um, I had a great time this time with this. Um, I read, uh, how much did I read? I read a lot of pages. Um, I read 118 of The Sea Witch and I have read... I had all but a hundred pages. Oops. Uh, <clears throat> um, 
this last Lost Girl says 360 pages. That's not it. Because mine was 400 something. There it is. Okay. So, um, mine was 472 pages. So, 372 there plus the 118. Um, my brain is shot for tonight. Three. So a total of 490 pages. I'm really proud of that, especially with everything else that I had to do today. So, um, 24 hours, nearly 500 pages, and clean the kitchen, lawn, uh, dining room, living room, vacuumed to the house, and got almost all of the laundry done and put away. So good day all around and I'm gonna end this vlog here so I will see you guys next time bye